Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a dupe house for you guys. So today we're going to be going over Okcha. Are they good? Are they really spot on dupes to the OG expensive perfumes? We're going to be talking about all of that in this video. So with all that being said, let's get straight into it. So you guys always ask me to review dupe houses on my channel because like me, you are all obsessed with affordable perfumes. But unlike your regular affordable perfume. I feel like a dupe house is special because of the fact that it's an affordable perfume that smells like a luxury perfume and that can be hit or miss. Some dupe houses do it really well, others not so much. I'm gonna be very real in this video. This video is sponsored by Okja and I thank them so much for reaching out to me because anytime a company, a perfume company specifically, wants to work with me, I'm always very open to it because I always want to share with you guys different companies and they kind of gave me the creative freedom to basically say anything. Like I don't have to say anything good about these fragrances like these are my real opinions and i took about like a week's time to really test out these fragrances so i could give you guys my real review not just me spraying it once and i'm like okay it's great like i really really took the time to wear these throughout the day to compare them to the originals and my overall conclusion about these fragrances is that they are really really high quality so these are the boxes that you're going to get when you order from this company and i feel like this company does not look like a dupe house they just look like luxury perfumes like on their own the packaging of them what they look like they have this little like message about their fragrances in here and then the actual perfume bottles are all black with the little gold accents which will tell you like the name of the fragrance that you're getting when i first opened this box when i first received it in the mail my mom was like those look expensive but they're not they're insanely affordable especially in comparison to the luxury counterpart but i feel like even the price of these on their own is still really really extremely reasonable especially for what you are getting these are like high quality fragrances they are extra de parfum so you know they're going to be lasting on your skin for like three years so the four fragrances that i'm going to be reviewing for you guys today and kind of comparing them to the luxury counterparts are Rue, which is inspired by Santal 33. Next up, I'm going to talk about Sweven, which is inspired by the infamous Baccarat Rouge 540. Then we have Sweet Addict, which can you guess? This is inspired by Killian Love, Don't Be Shy. And last but not least, we have Sinful, which is supposed to be inspired by Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And spoiler alert, this has just I have a lot of thoughts, so we'll get into right. that. Okay, so of course, I'm going to start off with the one and only Sweven, which, like I said, is supposed to be inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540. So you guys know I recently finally took the bullet and I picked up Baccarat Rouge 540. For me, when it comes to like really, really niche high-end fragrances that cost literally an arm and a leg, I take a lot of time to really like test them out. I, I was going into the store, I swear, like, every other day and testing out this fragrance and it just like made me fall in love with it so much that i just had to just do it like i just had to buy it every time i would wear it i would get a million and one compliments and i could smile on myself all freaking day there's just a ton of perfume brands that have come out with scents that smell like baccarat because it is just such a sought out scent and it's so extremely unique. So I got really excited when I saw this in the mail because I really wanted to test it out and let you guys know if it is an actual like comparable dupe that smells very close to the original. And I can say with no doubt after trying this, I've taken like almost pretty much over a week to test these fragrances out and really wear them throughout the day. I've even like sprayed one arm with this and then I sprayed the other one with this just to really, really compare them. Because I know a lot of people always ask me in my comments to review dupe houses so i'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you guys and i can 1000 percent say that after trying this fragrance out this is like oh, it's so good 98 percent similar so like basically almost the exact same to the original baccarat rouge it has the same kind of unisex vibe that is in the original baccarat rouge as you guys know like this is a very i don't even know how to describe this fragrance it's like sweet it's ozonic it's so strange but this has all the same vibes in it smelling them that side by side i can like only maybe pick up on like very very few little differences and i can't
can't even put those differences into words. And I will list the notes for Sweven right over here. And in comparison to the notes of Baccarat Rouge, as you guys can tell, they have very, very similar notes, which is obviously why they smell super similar. They both have that equal amount of the ambergris, which I've mentioned this before, but I recently actually kind of searched up like what ambergris was and i came to find out that ambergris is actually like a super insanely expensive note that is used in perfumes it's a very very high quality note that is found in the intestine of a sperm whale and it is then like regurgitated by the sperm whale and it kind of like floats to the surface and that is how it's found and ambergris is one of those notes that smells different on everybody it's just one of those scents that kind of like adapts to your own body chemistry and turns into whatever it turns into the only thing that i will say is that this one is not as as sweet as baccarat rouge baccarat rouge has a ton of sweetness and i know that a lot of people have told me that the reason why they don't like this fragrance is because it like makes them sick so if you like the scent of baccarat rouge that's what you're gonna get in here but with just a little bit less sweetness. If you guys like scents like Julia Has a Gun, Not a Perfume, this kind of gives me vibes to that one as well. But as far as it being compared to Baccarat Rouge, like I said, it's about like a 98% um, dupe. And we're talking like duplicate, like literally one in the same as the original. And right now they do have a little bit of a sale. So originally Sweven is $49.95, but you can currently get it for $39.95 in comparison to 350 like that's insane so definitely check out Sweven if you're interested in smelling like Baccarat Rouge. Okay, the next fragrance that I'm really excited to review is Sweet Addict. Sweet Addict as you can imagine is a dupe for Killian Love Don't Be Shy. When people found out that this was the scent that Rihanna allegedly wore it got sold out everywhere it took me so long to get my hands on this fragrance because it was sold out on sephora for i think almost a year obviously people love rihanna so when they heard that this is what she wears people like went nuts over it but other than the fact that rihanna wears it the reason why people were also obsessed is because people always said that rihanna smelled so good this is literally a sugar bomb of a fragrance i've said this before but to me this smells exactly like the valentine's day candies the little heart candies it's like this marshmallowy and it has marshmallow in it it's very like marshmallowy it's kind of powdery but in like the sweet it's almost like the powder of marshmallows and the powders of those little candies is just so sweet it's absolutely like the girliest scent ever but there's also like a sexiness to it and although it's like super sweet it's like sexy woman sweet and sweet addict in comparison to love don't be shy they are so similar especially in the dry down when i first spray this one out this kind of starts out a tad bit more fresh but once it dries down no difference literally no difference this one in my opinion is like a hundred percent similar to the original there's really nothing that i pick up in here that i don't pick up in the original love don't be shy or vice versa like especially in the dry down i think that they are one in the same if you went to like blindfold somebody and you told them to like pick out which one was the original i don't think anybody could because they smell that freaking similar here are the notes for sweet addict in comparison to love don't be shy you get that same marshmallowy orange blossom basically floral but super super sweet scent that you get in the original if you want to smell like Killian Love, Don't Be Shy, definitely pick up Sweet Addict from Ocean. Okay, next up, I'm going to be talking about Rue. At least I hope that's how you say it. Every time I say Rue, can you guys get guess what it reminds me of? If you are also fans of Euphoria, then you probably know what I'm talking about. But yeah, lately I've been so obsessed. And when I saw this name, I was like, oh my god. This is the only fragrance that I cannot compare to the original in this video because I don't own the original and I have never smelled Santal 33. I didn't even say what this is inspired by. It's inspired by Santal 33. I don't think Santal 33 is actually sold in any stores. Like I've never seen it at like a Saks Fifth Avenue or any of these big like luxury department stores that sell like high-end niche fragrances. I've never seen it anywhere so obviously i've never smelled it so i'm going to be completely honest with you guys and telling you that so this fragrance i'm just going to review i almost had a heart attack 
that was a dog so this fragrance i'm just simply reviewing like the fragrance itself not in comparison to anything i've always been curious about smelling santal 33 because people do not shut up about that fragrance and even before i was into fragrance i've always heard people talk about santal 33 it's always been a scent that has been like such a complimented scent it seems like like everybody owns it so i'm really happy to finally have this this one is the most unisex i would say out of all of them it's very fresh it's very woody kind of starts out more fresh but it dries down into like this really sexy unisex kind of has like a cologne vibe to it there's also like a little bit of a sweetness but i swear this is so insanely woody and if you look at the notes this has sandalwood cedarwood it has leather as you can tell those notes just sound really really sexy and deep and dark very like intoxicating notes the more this fragrance dries down it just becomes so much more than that this is not a girly scent this is like a boss it's like a really fiery rich confident scent i can definitely see why this is so complimented and if you are somebody that doesn't like super super sweet scents then i think you're going to really really like this one these fragrances have such a high oil concentrate that it basically like puts a film onto everything when you spray this out which means that obviously it's going to last and i found that all of these are super long lasting and i have one that is like extremely long lasting which is the next one i'm going to talk about that is probably my favorite out of all of these scents definitely love this one definitely a different vibe than anything that i really have in my collection but i absolutely adore this and i feel like although it's very loud this is a neutral enough scent to where it could be mixed with other things like there's not too much sweetness in here so if you are wanting to add something more to it then you can definitely mix this perfume i can definitely see a lot of potential in the mixing game when it comes to this scent i cannot wait to test it out that way but yeah that is rue we have made it to the last fragrance of this video and i saved the best for last this definitely ended up being my absolute favorite obviously most of the other ones i already own the original counterparts so the reason why i really wanted them is to really give you guys like an honest opinion in comparison to the originals but this one right here i do not own the actual luxury perfume that this scent is inspired by but i have smelled it a trillion times and it's one of those scents that is definitely in my like niche perfume list that i want to buy and that is tom ford lost cherry so this one is called sinful and that is the perfect name i feel like out of a name like sinful you probably would expect something really deep sexy sultry intoxicating enchanting and that is exactly what this fragrance is i have smelled tom ford lost cherry a trillion and one times so even though i don't have it with me right here to actually smell it side by side with you guys i know what it smells like enough to like compare this based off of like my fragrance memory and i recently went into the store so that i can kind of refresh my mind on the scent so that i could review it for you guys and wow i had never really really looked into lost cherry that deeply before like i had only really like tested it out in the store and i was familiar with the scent but i never really like tested it tested it out because i have heard mixed reviews on lost cherry mostly really good but just like baccarat rouge and i feel like a lot of really niche high-end fragrances something that all those fragrances have in common is that they are really unique and that comes with people not liking them and so i'd never really like given it the attention that i feel like now it deserves after smelling this and after really testing this out this has been my most worn scent recently and as i said about all of these fragrances because they are extra de parfum naturally they're going to be really long lasting but this one days i have smelled this for days on the clothes that i sprayed it on i would go to wash them still smell it and the longer that it stays on it gets better this is the most deep sultry oh my god this is the most deep sultry sexy cherry like deep dark cherry scent ever like talk about intoxicating talk about sinful the name is just so accurate obviously the main part of this fragrance is the cherry note but it's not just a regular cherry note it's a really dark cherry note like i said but this also has cherry liquor which gives it like a booziness mixed into that cherry it also has almond so it has like that creamy sweetness into it as well and this literally to me smells like cherry syrup but 
turn it into a perfume overall you get a cherry scent like that is the main part of this that is the main thing that i smell and that cherry just kind of transforms this is not a very linear fragrance like this transforms the longer that you have it it is it just gets better it gets kind of sweeter and after a while the cherry does die down and eventually after like hours of having this on it'll settle down to like a woody sweet tonka bean creamy but it still has like a little bit of cherry in it as well like the cherry never really leaves this fragrance in my opinion I love this scent. In comparison to the original, this is another one that I would say is like 100% spot on because as I've said, I smelled the original so many times and every time I smell this, that's the first thing I think of because it smells identical to it. I've actually heard a lot of people say that Tom Ford's Lost Cherry actually does not smell like cherry at all. Like the cherry is very strong in the beginning and then it like completely disappears. Whereas in this one, I never found that to happen. Like I can pretty much continuously smell the cherry. Yes, it does get a little bit like it dies down, but that's only after like hours. Like I mean eight plus hours of having this on. And I'm just basing that off of other people's opinions and what I've heard about Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. And the reason why I haven't bought it because people say that it's not worth the money. A 3.4 like full size 100 ml bottle of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry will cost you $500 that is a car payment that is two car payments like that is a freaking mortgage it's insane so for people to say that the lost cherry doesn't even smell like cherry like the cherry doesn't last and also people have said that it doesn't last like at all and that is just completely ridiculous for a scent that is five hundred dollars so I, I almost feel like this is better because in the time that i've been testing this out this is insanely long lasting and the cherry never disappears so that is sinful if i could recommend one fragrance out of this whole video i would definitely go for sinful i just want to say a huge thank you to oksha for reaching out to me for this video i'm super excited to have worked with them and i hope that we could collaborate in the future because they are so good and genuinely high quality and that is the only thing that I've noticed about them and the times that I've been testing them out. So you definitely have my like approval and recommendation on these fragrances. I really like, I'm not just saying that. I told you guys my honest opinions about all of these so you could take that with a grain of salt but anyways i hope you guys check this company out if you want to find a more affordable version for a high-end fragrance that you maybe don't want to spend the money on because let's be real who wants to spend 300 plus dollars on something that you can get for 40 bucks so i definitely recommend checking them out and obviously they have a ton more other fragrances that are inspired by really luxury perfumes so definitely check out their website and check out all of the options that they have but that is it for me today i hope you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and i will see you guys in my next video bye